Let's do this. Without further ado, can I hold a gun and a mic at the same time? Yes, I can. Oh, without further ado, please, in no particular, in a very particular order, welcome to the Nerd HQ stage, Alan Tudyk, Nathan Fillion, Nolan North, Michael Trucco, Allison Hayslip, PJ Hosma, Trisha Helfer, and Casper Van Dien! Oh, right here. Come on, one more. We're going to Australia! This wow. Is, this, hey, is just, hey, this, hey. Is just, this is just to keep people in check, apparently. I'm just going to be like, no, you, sit down. Uh, hey, thanks. You made it, guys. We did it. You did it. Yay. Uh, so you guys know the routine. This is your time. This is their time. You get to ask whatever the hell you want to ask. What a small and intimate room. Yeah. <laughs> I feel close. To Michael, have you here. made yourself at home here? I am. I'm <laughs> he just took over this whole table. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have this corner for my glass of water, no, no, please? No, no, <laughs> Not if it's water. Um, oh, fantastic. Okay. Maybe with a little uh, please talk into the mic, Mr. Truco. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> it's early still. Uh, let's let's open it up for questions. And by, and you guys, you uh, you get to pick on whoever's hand is raised. That we you get fix, to pick we on fix them? the method. Like call People raise a hand. Them? You you choose whoever's hand is raised, and they'll get a mic. There's, there's, there's no hands up. So there you go. Holding holding your two phone. hands are up. Oh, it's holding a camera. It's your two hands were up. That's two questions for me. Oh, bam! That one right there was quick. Raise your hands if you want a question. Nudity gets first choice. Right here in the front row, please. Oh, she sat down. Mike. No, no, we have someone first. with a mic, yeah. Oh, you're, you're first. Sorry, you had a mic. Right, never, I, right. never mind me. No worries. Uh, so you've all been acting for a little while, and the usual way of acting is you do something, and then you put it out there, and that you hope that people like it. Um, but with Con Man, you kind of, the fans all told you that they wanted it. Um, and so when you made it, it, you realized that you already had a fan base. Um, how is that kind of different? Was it more rewarding when you were doing it? Was it more exciting because you didn't have to worry too much about other stuff? It's a bit of a different business model. Yeah, there's, it's kind of almost like less risk because uh, we've all you've done a pilot and you got your fingers crossed. I hope, first of all, the executives like it. I, one time I had a show, a pilot dropped because uh, some executive watched it with his uh, wife and she said, I don't get it. My, my pilot was dropped. Look at that lady. <laughs> Didn't even get a chance to get on TV to see if people liked it. But this is, yeah, it's a new business model. Uh, there, there is, there's another aspect to it, which, it, you know, usually you do, just like you said, it's like you, you kind of walk out of the kitchen and go, look what I made. Let everybody try it. See if you like it. Uh, or you say, all right, everybody go buy me some ingredients. <laughs> no, no, no. What I'm going to make you is going to, you're going to love it. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. Uh, if you could help buy the ingredients, and then I'm going to go in here and make something amazing. So it's, it's, there's a little pressure. You really want it to be good when you bring it out of the kitchen. Uh, we just saw Bruce Campbell on another panel earlier, and I think he summed it up best when he said, oh, my God. And he's also, he appears in it, and he kind of forgot that he appeared in it. Uh, <laughs> because he only appears in reference. We reference him. He was on the show, inside of the show, and he's uh, missing at sea. So he only gets, they think the sharks got him. So, um, uh, but he said, uh, he said, Alan, Nathan, wow, PJ, amazing. You guys knocked it out of the park. Hall age, what the hell? This is amazing. Hope it doesn't suck. <laughs> and he, he seems sincere. Like, he was like, really hopes it doesn't suck. Because um, that, that's a little bit of the, that was when we started out, you know, that was a little bit of the fear. But we, now that we've shot it, we're, we had such a good time doing it, and the crew laughed a lot, and that's always a positive. And we're putting it together now. If you haven't seen the trailer, check it out uh, online. Uh, I think you might laugh. I think you should laugh. I, we laughed a lot. We have the trailer here. We gave it to you guys to oh. put it on if you want to show it. Would you like to see the trailer? Is All right, I guess we'll play it. Uh, yeah, do we have that queued up? Can we play that right now? Is that, a, is that that's a thumbs, thumbs up. up. Let's do it right now. Let's watch that trailer. There was a lot on that hard drive. I hope <laughs> we play the right thing. Here we go. Space show spectrum. But fans kept spectrum alive in their imaginations and safe in their shattered hearts. Now, 10 years later, 
An army of fans celebrate the cast, and conventions are devoted to the adventure and the mythos that was, and always will be, Spectrum. Everyone loves Spectrum. I hate Spectrum! I hate it, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it! Well, everyone but Ray nearly. It was a great show. It was the best thing I've ever done, that's the problem. Science fiction is supposed to be about the future. Why are the fans so obsessed with the past? Are you Rain Nearly? No, I am not. Could you see my magazine? Uh, choose, I'm sorry, uh, are you famous? They think that you're a spaceship pilot. Better than reality. Damn. I have an audition. Mr. Clint Eastwood. Could you maybe put in a good word for me? All famous people don't know all other famous people, Ray. But yeah, I know them. It said that it was written for a 30-year-old. No, I can play 30. <laughs> yeah! ha! Ah! Ray, we're going to switch this up a little bit. Instead of reading Razor Burn, would you please read the role of Marion? Marion? I'm allergic to nuts! I don't, I want to quit this. I need you to take your seat, please. OK, excuse me, sir. Hey, you wouldn't happen to be a sci-fi fan, would you? Fuck off. And last but not least, Kekoke Koke Koke. <laughs> She's so agile, like a dart squirrel. Oh, he's sexy. Come see the freak of nature, the oddity of Mr. Renerly. Giorgio, help me to forget what happened to my village. I burned it down. Mr. Dorn has been reading from The Merchant of Venice for his fans. Maybe it should be Merchant of Venus, right? Oh, of course. <laughs> you said you were with the convention. There's a doll convention? I'm in the wrong hotel. I'm in the right hotel. You're here for the sci-fi convention? She looks just like that hot, hot Cylon. No, the other one. The other one. The other one. The other one. That's a dude. I, I'm married. <laughs> Tiffany! Hey! Oh, I'm thirsty. Yeah, that, that ain't right. I got something better for us to do. What? A movie. You want you want me in one of your movies? I'm just working with you, man. <laughs> I'm making a uh, movie with Jack Moore, and we ah, you son of a! Are you doing a Spectrum movie? No, there's no Spectrum movie. We're gonna make this movie, you son of a bitch! I'll do the movie under one condition: no crowdfunding. When people say that you've been pigeonholed doesn't mean that you're stuffed into a hole that the pigeon lives in. It is a hole in the pigeon. Love Adam. It's his butthole. Oh, yeah, it's his butthole. That's, um... Yeah, no, I got that. So that's, that's... Yeah. No. Have you guys, have you guys heard, I got, can I do this joke? Oh, yeah, this Thanks. is a good one. I heard this in Australia. How do reavers clean their spears? They run them through the wash. Ah. <laughs> you see, in uh, Firefly, <laughs> Alan played a character named Wash and the reavers, and this, anyway. I saw that movie. So look, this is this is the cast that made made this so great. Yeah, I mean, you could just hand it you could hand it over to anybody, and uh, it would uh, it would take off. You know, what was ever on the page would it would be what's on the page, then plus everything that they brought to the project. Uh, also, P.J. Harzma, who's down there, uh, you may not recognize his face, 
but he is our executive producer and he made made this happen. Like all the hard stuff that my brain will break trying to do, uh, he did all of those things. Tying his shoes. Yeah. But <laughs> picking out his underwear for the day. Yeah. That Wipe kind of stuff. me. Wipe me. How many times do we hear that on set? Wipe me. You may not recognize his face, but you will never forget that hair. Oh, God, yes. Look, look into the profile. There it is. <laughs> Remember. Fifty Shades of Grey. I would, I, would, I, would, I would like to just interject and say, I think it's a testament to you and to Nathan and to PJ and to everyone that was the team that brought Con Man to life that you were able to bring all of this cast and all of the other cast is not here right now. That's a testament to you guys because you set out, you had a vision, you had a dream, you put it forth. It's a testament to all of your fans who said, we believe in you, we believe in that vision. And then you go to, I mean, then at that point, you're like, oh, wow, we, we have all the, people actually believed us and we have all this money. Well, we got to go make this. And then, but all those actors and all those people that contributed their time, that's a testament to you guys. So I say, let's give them a round of applause because that's a lot of goodwill. That's a lot of goodwill. I, Thank you very much. But also, it's, it has a lot to do with the fans. Uh, not to speak uh, to these cast members. They were on board absolutely uh, from the beginning of uh, from Go. Uh, but some, some people, it wasn't until the fans did show so much support. Support Like prior to crowdfunding, you kind of went out and were like, hey, we kind of, you know, we would really uh, appreciate, you know, we want you to be in this thing. It's going to be fun. It's going to be good. We're going to crowdfund. They're like, yeah, get back to me after that crowdfunding thing <laughs> kicks off. And then when it was such, it was so overwhelming, the support, then people were like, yep, yep, I'm in that. I want to do that. And that's how we ended up with a lot of the people. And, and I don't think it's the actors so much as a lot of the agents. Like, it's still a culture within Hollywood that you say, we're going to do on Vimeo. It's going to come out on Vimeo. And uh, we're crowdfunding it. <laughs> Click. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? We can't hear you. I need a new phone. Uh, I got rid of my phone. So, yeah, so, um, and that's, that still exists. And we're hoping uh, with the support of the fans and people who will watch this and, and see it on Vimeo that uh, we're changing that culture. We are. I mean, this is, this is a fan-supported thing. The fans, you know, Hollywood didn't understand this, this at all. We would talk to studios and they were just... They, they were terrible with it. They're like, I went to Comic-Con once crazy. <laughs> Woo, all the costumes. You sure? Did you just turn on, like, the nightly news <laughs> and watch the guy out on the subway going, look at this person, you know? So uh, it's, it's because of the fans. Everything here is because of the fans. Yeah, exactly. E e everything here. This wouldn't be here. Well, San Diego would be. <laughs> but everything else. Uh, and speaking of the fans, uh, who has a burning question? You guys get to go ahead and choo choose who you'd like to talk to. A burning question. Burn. Burning question. Right here in the front. She, she had it up earlier. Mic right behind oh, oh, you. Have two now, mics. Now you got two. You, two. Well, you have actually, to use them both. <laughs> actually, I'm hoping I can give one to my husband, who's somewhere in here. Um, you think. I think. Somewhere behind me. Um, but I don't know if you can tell from here. Um, my name's Lauren, and I'm about six months pregnant. Nice. Um, yeah. And I'm going to sound like a total creeper in saying this, but I don't think that that would have happened, but not for a lot of you in this room. Um, I, I had nothing to do with this one. Nolan? I had nothing to do with this one. I got five wait, kids. Wait, he's it's figuring it out. He's figuring it out. I'm innocent. Though. He's figuring it out. Hold right, on. Listen. Just give, him a few, just give him a few hints. I, What's it me? I Nathan? told you to wait in the car. <laughs> How did this turn into an episode of Maury Povich? What, what's happening? I'm, I'm glad her husband's back there. <laughs> Way back there. Somewhere. Nolan North, ladies and gentlemen. Nolan no, but, North. <laughs> to be fair, I, I wasn't quite sure about him, but then he showed up at my apartment with a box set of Firefly. Um, and I just wanted to keep seeing what was going to happen next. He didn't tell me it was going to end rather baby? quickly. <laughs> or the baby. Um, but then came Chuck. Battlestar Galactica. Battlestar Galactica. We got Castle, now we have Gina on Suits. You get the picture. So I, I just wanted to say thank you and see if I could uh, give him the question. You're welcome. Thank you. Well, where is, if your husband's here, here, actually here, I there he is. Go ahead and hand that mic back to him. What question? That's fine. Okay. She's, she's bequeathing her question. Yeah. Uh, thanks, honey. 
Um, I'm actually a, a, a huge supporter of, of what you guys did. In fact, I was a proud funder. Of Yay! What you guys did. Thank you. And, 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 and I actually got a, a chance to, to, to go out and be on set, and I was on the, uh, the airplane. Oh, hey! Set. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. You're one of those guys, you're like, you look like an air marshal. Right. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of Suffered air through the no air conditioning for um, a while. And, and just having seen the, 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 the uh, uh, preview, I mean, what you guys did is amazing. And I, I wanted to thank you for, for just opening up uh, the set as well and, and being so kind to everybody who, who went down. Um, I guess if I was going to have a question, uh, you, <laughs> you, 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 guys, you guys mentioned, uh, my wife and I went to the, to the uh, con man panel uh, yesterday in Hall H, which was amazing. Uh, and someone asked you guys about season two. Um, and uh, you guys were talking about um, having a lot of additional material to do season two. And I thought maybe I could, maybe I could help you with that um, in terms of a, a question you might have gotten at, at a con. So my, my wife mentioned she's six months pregnant. I was, uh, we were wondering if you might sign our unborn baby. <laughs> Awkward. I, can, I mean, this is getting awkward. really awkward. Can, can you get a Sharpie in there? I don't know that that's... <laughs> and, that and who's going to go first? and unsafe, sir. And I who's going to go first? You, oh, no, you. Oh, oh, he'll go first. I, uh, down, hey, I grew up on a farm down. with, you know, birthing cows, uh, so I might be the best. <laughs> cow fisting. What? No, I got I this. meant the T-shirt, oh but... I meant the T-shirt, but... <laughs> oh... Is that what they're calling it now? <laughs> cool. I'm, I'm sure we can arrange that for after. I'm sure we can arrange that for after. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, season two, he's the guy with the incredibly long question. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly. <laughs> I didn't even raise my hand. Will you sign my unborn baby? There's, there's, yeah, <laughs> Not there's weird at all. Back. I see you. There's somebody enthusiastically in the back been jumping up and oh, down. Oh, no, she has it. Go I for it. She's, you're back. All right, she's oh, back. Hey. Go ahead and give her a microphone. Hi. Oh, it's Sherry. Hi, Nathan. Hall H. Hi. Um, sorry, I'm a little nervous. Um, Zach. Yes. How come, Alan, how come Zach's, this is two part, how come Zach's not in common? That, I, I, I can, I can uh, answer well, this. I can answer that question. <laughs> I can answer that. I will answer. Okay. <laughs> Sir, sir, go ahead, sir. We tried very hard, and he's a very busy man, and we tried, and we tried to put it here, and we tried to move things there, and he offered from the very beginning that uh, whatever you guys want, I am in. We just couldn't make schedules fit. Yeah. So, so they gave it. it to me. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? So the whole, upgrade. The whole, hair, the whole hair square jaw thing, word. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I'll sign your unborn baby, too. <laughs> No, no, no need, my friend. No, no need. Um, my, my husband. I don't know if you like that. Um, but I wanted to say, if Alan, you will make Zach, and give him a prominent sort of storyline in season two for next season two of comment. Absolutely. Yeah. Keep going. Keep okay. going. Agents. Keep going. Um, Wait, are you I getting rid of me? Not are you getting rid of me? In in addition to. I will donate two hundred fifty dollars to um, Operation Smile today, and I don't know if you guys know this, but Charity Miles has an app, and I bugged them for months to add Operation Smile. As I don't know if you guys are familiar with Charity Miles, it looks like Nathan is. Um, Charity Miles is an app you can download on your phone. If okay, maybe not. Sorry, uh, Nathan. I know you work out. Michael, you work out. PJ, you work out. She didn't say I work out. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. I don't know you very well. It's okay. I don't work out. Miles. That gentleman at that, um, sir. I know you work out. It's evident. Are we? Are we friends I was again? Airline miles. I was thinking airline miles too. She anyway. works out a lot more than Any, me. Well, anyway. So, so nice well, sign up, charity baby, miles. So charity um, miles. Charity this is a long is an question. App you can download and you can walk indoors, outdoors, bike, blah blah blah. So while you're at the gym, oh. da, da 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 da, you can raise money for charity. I mean, every penny counts. So I, I petitioned Operation Smile to make sure that they were, um, I'm sorry, Charity Miles, to make sure that Operation Smile was one of the charities that you could donate your time to while you're working out. Yeah. So, Thank um, you. So it's sort of stupid. I'm going to um, I'm gonna uh, make sure, and I will pledge to uh, Nerd HQ, you, Zach, all you guys, on behalf of Con Man, to make sure that I turn on my Charity Miles app for every physical activity I do for the rest of 2015. To nice. raise money for Operation Smile. Awesome. Uh, you run about seven marathons a year, correct? No, no, sir. You are going to now, though, right? Yeah. No, um, 
sort of silly, but anyway, I met Nathan last year, and I had some opportunity to spend some time with him and Alan also at Nerd HQ. And I looked at the photo that I had taken, and I'm not even going to give go there. Um, I had shorter hair, and I was 35 pounds heavier. And I've lost 35 pounds since February. And um, Nathan, I have to tell you that you and that picture of you and me, I just looked at myself in that photo, and I was like, man, you know what? You're fat. It's time to stop being fat. You're an inspiration. And I told you that last year. And you're still an inspiration to many. But all of you guys are. And I love Con Man. And I love Operation Smile. And I'm proud to be a nerd. And rock Nerd HQ. Yo. Nice. Hey. Thank you. Thank you. I, I so appreciate that. I'll talk to these guys and make sure that I get a very prominent storyline. <laughs> and, uh, and so appreciate your support at, at uh, Nerd HQ and at Operation Smile. And, and, and thank you. And thank you very much. And we're, and we're proud of you as well. That's, no. that's incredible to lose 35 pounds. No, thank no, you. No. I got the perfect role. You got the perfect role? Mm -hmm. And if not that one, I got another perfect role. <laughs> we'll make your damn schedule work next time, I swear. Hey, hey Alan, if, if, um, if, if Cash Wayne went to a con and he wanted to be anonymous, what character would he be, and what would happen if he got busted? I don't think, I don't know. I don't know if he has to be anonymous at a con. I don't know if he had to be, I don't know. I haven't written that episode yet. Something Japan to me, like a big mushroom head. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It would have to be something that got him into more trouble, like he put it on as to be anonymous, and then it only got him more notice. Yeah, everything he does kind of backfires. So that, that would be what it was. What if, what if he pulled like a Brian Cranston yeah. playing himself with the, with the Walter White mask? You could do that. Right, but then use would... Brian C Cranston's mask. And everybody's <laughs> like, that's actually Brian Cranston. I saw it at the, at the Comic-Con. That's possible. Uh, uh, next question. This lady right here. Do we have a mic? Do we have a mic? Run it down, Brian. Run it down. Oh, Come on. There we go. Come on. Oorah. Hi, my name is Sarah. And do you guys find that there's any backlash from Hollywood since you kind of sidestepped studios or whoever it is that usually funds these type of things to use fan funding? I, I hadn't even thought of that. Now I'm no, scared. No, I don't. <laughs> I, yeah. You're right to be scared. <laughs> For a lot of other reasons. Do you find any, any backlash? Kind of, the people that was kind of, kind of crapped on it a little bit beforehand. That's their backlash, is that you they guys, you guys supported it so much. I think that's where their backlash started, where they're like, wait a minute, yeah. we, should have, we should have bet on that horse. You know, I don't think that they have, they'll feel backlash. I think Hollywood is very uh, resilient when it comes to success. They see your success and they go, good, I want to own it. Uh, so, you know, they're not going to hold, you know, even if I said, like, screw Fox, if I ever said that, Fox, sorry, PJ, I just, I just saw your eyes. If I, if I said something like that, uh, they even, would, even if he did, even if I did, if, which I didn't. No, he did not. Uh, it was an if. What about backlash? Um, uh, anyway, if I said screw Fox, I don't think they would care. Honestly, if it came to like comment, if, if comment was a big success, if everybody went out and gone to Vimeo and did some crazy thing, like pre-ordered it anyway, if that happened or when it comes out September 30th, if it's a big success, they won't care what I just said because the, money matters to them. That's all that matters. Well, I, I think you did something amazing. I think you guys opened the eyes to uh, the opportunity because just watching it, I mean, thank you for letting me be in this and, and being a part of it, but watching how everybody's reacted this is not something that the studios or the networks have ever really, you know, th they think they have a way of, of doing it and, and they have their, uh, you know, their, their people they go to, but this is the real fans and you've done something where you've gotten so much support and so much love from, from you guys and you, you funded an entire series and it's just amazing. I think they're gonna be really impressed. Well, I think something that sets this one apart as Thanks. well in, in, my, in my mind is that uh, some of the crowdfunding that has gone on has been, um, just somebody's, you know, they're telling a story. Whereas this, your story and the, and Con Man involves the fans. Who who you're telling your story to involves the fans. So it's not just oh I I I want to tell this story about a woman falling in love with a man and it's another romantic comedy and here pay me you might like the outcome, mm. uh, fund it you might like the outcome. But this involves you guys. This is this is 
Yeah, this resonates deeply. Em em embraces this them. very crowd. The other, the other thing too, though, and when you talk about it, the backlash, there is maybe an executive or two sitting there going, "Oh shit! I think the stars are starting to realize they have the power." I think the, the artists know that they can do their own. Oh, quick! Oh, but, but it's an open market, right? I mean, you made this available to studios and to networks and to those people, and when they pass, this is the out. Let that you take, and this is, and, and but you're we free also, to do that. I have to say, we you know? we also passed. There was some passing. I mean, not just gas. There was, you know, we passed. Passing wind. Uh, we passed because uh, they would start out by, you know, oh, let's 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 brainstorm on a couple ideas. They're like, there's a goofy person because they're a total nerd fan, and that was that was their understanding of this world. They would come at it from that direction, like they could only see it from that that uh, perspective because they don't. They haven't been to a bunch of cons. They only, yeah, they don't, they don't get it. I think, BJ, you're absolutely right about... Uh, what, was I not right just now? I just... You're both right. You're okay. both right. Can I have this one? Coming to, from, from a place uh, of judgment. Also, okay. you were saying the power, the power is not coming from the same place. It's not even with the stars anymore. The power is with the, the fans. Right. Not only can you select, say, oh, I want to watch this. I'm going to binge watch this particular show now. I'm going to download it and I'm going to have a good time. I'm going to watch it at my leisure. On September 30th. Now I'm going to fund the show I would like to see made so that I can watch that show that I had made. On Vimeo. It's a very, <laughs> it's a very new business model. It's and the other thing... And to participate on set, be on set, be in it. I mean, that's a really cool... Talk about access and... You know, that was fun. Yeah, and there's people, and there's people too, that are, are from so many different parts of the entertainment world that people love to see. I mean, you go here, there's people who like anime video games, comic books, card, and this show envelops the TV and, and film stars. I mean, it, it envelops everybody. YouTubers. Uh, it's, like, like it's, I have not had any backlash because Hollywood doesn't even know I'm here. <laughs> That's supposed to be. But when did they you get will. here? Yeah, yeah. When did you get here? <laughs> no, but it, but it's, it's, no, it's, it's power, I wrote in it's the van. power to the people, I right? Next it's, to you in the van. If you, if you contributed to this campaign, you are a producer, yeah. essentially, right? So pat yourselves on the back, your producers. And you thank you for not firing. Put it on your content. resume. Yeah. Yeah, and you fully, but you fully embraced it. What you guys did, three of you, with the way you created this whole thing is you completely embraced and you welcomed them into this world. And you see it. So, like, these are your stories. But I, as someone who goes to cons and been going to cons for a long time, I could relate to every story. Like, even the story of the guy putting the, 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 um, uh, the the cover magazine like I was at a, at a con once and somebody goes oh my god Johnny Rico and he goes can I you know I'm at the urinal and he just reach, reaches over and I'm like no <laughs> no and he's like dude man I love it I go I'm not gonna have you go, yeah sure just hold hey, this hey man I've apologized <laughs> Casper I I have apologized for that publicly I'm still not gonna forgive you I, I have to. That, that example, absolutely, and mine came from a urinal, too, that I took that idea that the truth was a urinal. It was a guy, and then he's like, who are you? And then I was like, guys, you, we can't talk about this now. <laughs> but You're, you did it in such a... We should all be focusing on something Eyes else. up. Eyes up. Yeah, You did it in a beautiful way, though, because you didn't, you're, you're not making fun of, like that executive was saying, we need to make fun of it. You embraced it. It is part of the culture. So it's, it's, it's both us and the audience. So it, it, it's a relatable thing that I think that everybody will get. And then Hollywood will see this, and you've given them the opportunity to really see what people like. Well, that, that's... I, I think, yeah, and thank you. Thank you. PJ, what did... Who said it? Was Indiegogo, who, where, we, where we funded it, said that they've never seen... Uh, cr the crowdfunding, like that, the crowd was so accepting and so ex like the, the, um, so that, positive. That campaign manager that we hired uh, out of New York that helped us put it all together, like the, the the perks and just how we were supposed to do it. He said, and he has done over a hundred different campaigns. Out of all the campaigns that he had done, the fans that funded this, he'd never seen a more nicer, helpful, patient group of people than they had with the 46,000 people that funded Con Man. Isn't that great? 46,000? I just got chills. That's, that's... A lot of producers. That's, that's amazing. Uh, how, how, many, how many people here, just show of hands really quick, how many people here contributed to the Con Man crowdfund? What? Yes. Nice. So thank what you about for, the others? Thank you, thank you, bosses. Thank you, bosses. Yeah, right. <laughs> Wasn't this the third, lar third fastest funded Quickstarter, the third largest? Is the third largest at all film and video and at any platform, but the highest 
web series ever funded. Take that, Veronica um, Mars. <laughs> I want a web series. Uh, let's go to another question. Hi, because Ellen. I'm back here. You probably hey. can't see Oh, me. wow. I met you yesterday, though. My name's Roseanne Horace. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. I'm from Chicago. And my question to you was, did you fil film everything on this first season in um, California, or did you go to Cannes, like in Texas, New York, Chicago? It was all in L.A. We shot it all in L.A. Uh, but the, yes, it was all in L.A. It was all. Well, do, you, do you think you'll come to Chicago? I know you're going to have a season two and season three. Because I hope so. We all, you have great actors up there, all of them. You have a good cast, and I'm sure this is going to go over, over well. So I, do you I, think you'll go to other cons, or are you just going to stay? Well, we went to, PJ, where did, where did we, we go? Did shoot, we, actually... we shot crowd footage at Phoenix, Atlanta. Um, uh, it was Momocon. It was a voiceover one. Uh, and one other, Dallas? No. Phoenix? Orlando. Uh, Florida. Orlando, Orlando. Orlando. right. Yeah. Have you so, been rolling B-roll or anything yeah. at this con? We haven't even... Quickly, let's film it. No, yeah, 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 there we go. <laughs> Roll cameras, everybody back to one, and action. Everybody. <laughs> and action. So we would we we bring cameras there and then take shots of the crowd, which are going to be in the, you know, sort of between different scenes that we've already shot to fill out the cons that we built and did in L.A. But the fun thing was, was going there and announcing that, you know, there's going to be some con man cameras roving around, so... You might be on con man, and there might be some, well, there will be some people in con man who, who, who you never know. <laughs> oh my gosh. Soon I'm gonna get through puberty, and I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> Thank you. Gosh. Go ahead, you guys pick. Right there. No, you. Yeah, you. <laughs> Hi, so this question is for everyone except Alan. <laughs> no, wait, 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 wait. This one's for Alan. Um, no, no, so, everyone but Alan. I like that. Yeah, but this is for you. So how was Alan as a director? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> you were the director? <laughs> you remember why I was always telling you what to do? <laughs> Everybody tells me what to do. <laughs> I personally loved working with Alan because if you guys were in Hall H, you probably heard that I came on literally less than 48 hours before I started shooting. So Alan, God bless him, when we found out that I was officially signed on, he was like, I'm coming over to your house right. and we're going to work on some scenes. Because we had no time and it was like a Sunday and I literally had an hour and a half in between one thing I had to get done and another thing. And Alan was like right there at my place, talked me through everything we were going to do over the week, talked me through the character. We worked on some stuff together. So it was awesome then to show up on set the next day and feel like calm and prepared and I knew what I was doing. And also that Alan was so collaborative with the work too, you know? We would shoot a scene and right before we would do another take, he'd be like, uh, why, don't, why don't we try this? Why don't we throw out this? You know, I'll say this and then you'll say that. I'm like, yeah, bam. And then we'd go and shoot it and be like, okay, let's do it this way. Let's do it that way. So it was really fun to, to play. And I think, that's, I think that's the benefit you get from working with a director who's also an actor is that they know your side. Right? Yeah, to, just to add to that, I, I have this, this philosophy that I think the best directors that I've ever worked with and that the directors that have had done some acting before are not telling you what to do or how to do it, but they discuss what we could do where the scene could be. What would, this is like, let's figure out what this scene's about and let's figure out how we get there, but it's not telling you specifically how to do it. And Alan, you had that very delicate way of making the comedy and the scenes and just giving these just little ideas and little notes that was like, of course, that's a genius idea. <laughs> he, he had this interesting Thank thing you, that you'd go and you ask him something and he'd get this stare. <laughs> PJ and I talked about, he'd just he'd be like, hey, in this scene, we could do... What? <laughs> and you're like, who are you? And he's because he had so many things to do at, 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 at on the at, right? like you said the other day, like down to like oh, how are these cufflinks? You're like those, not those. And, and he had all the decisions, and then to be like you said, so collaborative, mm -hmm. and to give you the freedom to go, I wrote this and it's brilliant. And people say about ad libbing is, yeah, is you know, do you ad lib a lot? If you don't have the structure of a right. good story, that you can't branch off from that. So, so when you, you do these things, he, he, what he wrote was great, but then to just put your ego down and say, hey, let's, let's try something different, just yeah. right, do this, do that, try the, and it's, that's what but we the dream of. The, the, I mean, it just makes the show better because when you have people like this, they're, 
I mean, the things that they're coming up with are amazing. It's, it was amazing. I mean, you... Disgusting. It was disgusting. Well, some of the things you said were really obscene. Uh, and it was in front of children. And, uh, but... Their fault. I remember there's gonna For be... For being a, children. You know that, that little scene where, where, where I turned into Marion, which was actually based on Nathan's and I experience doing uh, a Halo game where we came back together after doing him in separate cities, playing or doing Halo 3. It was like, what did, what did, what did you have to say? And it was, um, it was like, follow me into the breach. Take that. And all of mine were, ow! <laughs> Let's hide. And that's actually a line. Let's hide, it's in that, you know. <laughs> Uh, is this leading the men when I say, let's hide? <laughs> nope. No, it's not. You want to hide. Um, uh, but you, in that, in that scene, I leave Milo uh, Ventimiglia, who's in, does a great job. We leave, and knowing you, I know you have an amazing uh, Christopher Walken. And I was like, can you try to take over the Marion role yeah. and do it as Christopher Walken? And then you did. I think it's going to be really funny when people see it. Did you keep that? Oh, yeah, we're gonna keep that. Oh, but can you? I don't. I don't mean to dance, monkey, dance you, but dance, monkey. Dance. Do you remember? Yeah, just you. You know, talking about. Uh, um, well, well, like the lines you were saying are gonna give something away, but you. It's gonna be gross. Are y'all ready? It's just about. It's oh no! You understand that it was a video game, right? So what they're doing is they're saying, hey. I gotta get down. Oh, they shot me in the ass. <laughs> Not like in the cheek, in the hole. <laughs> it's like two holes now. I don't know which one to do. I, and it hurts so bad, right? There's blood, and now my socks are wet <laughs> and red. It's my favorite socks. Right? <laughs> so sometimes a dream, I have claws. <laughs> yeah. That, that. So, you can see, I mean, how does that not make the show better? And I well, didn't write that, and I can't do that my, voice. My favorite part of that scene, though, is when, because you, you had no idea what, the, what he was going to do, and he just, they said, Marion? He goes, Marion. He looks at the script, he goes, and for some reason, he looked at me, he goes, Marion? And I went, well, that was John Wayne's name. And he just went, <laughs> yes, it keep was. that, keep that. Remember, you, it, it just, it, that's the thing, it just, we played. And I think what, what, what this thing is great, everybody got a chance to play in this great sandbox. And thanks to you guys. I mean, you got together. sand in, in your pants. Did uh, I, I know, did. Truco, you played a lot with Nathan in that scene. It's really funny. It was like a two page scene where you are a cop and you pull over uh, his character, Jack Moore. And he's a fan, the cop is a fan. <laughs> And you took... With, with an aggression problem. Yeah, he's got an aggression problem. I, I, I pull over Nathan for talking on his phone with guns drawn. <laughs> I was like, put the fucking phone down now! <laughs> and then I was like, holy shit, Jack Moore. I almost shot you, man. <laughs> <laughs> like a moving um, violation. He's like... <laughs> but that, that just, just that gift, just to be able to get to do something with Nathan again after having done Castle, and to be given this little nugget and to work with Nathan and Alan was just such a, a, a dream. And uh, it was fun because Nathan and I like to riff. And uh, there's wow. a lot of comic genius. It went, it went, it went. They're like, we've got to, we've actually got to pull out. We got to, we got to reposition one of the cameras because they were running around the car. <laughs> they got weird. And it, like, just got, <laughs> it just went off. It was fantastic. I'm going to say this too about Alan as a director. Acting aside, Alan, really, really? That was for us, I think that was uh, just, they're watching from a TV out there. Really appreciates his crew. He loves the yeah. people that love to work and do great things and he appreciates it. He goes, oh my God, can you believe how great this person, you know what they did, they did this, they did this. He loves these people so much and it was really apparent too that the crew loved Alan. When Alan needed something done, when there was a problem, people would come up with solutions. And Alan was so, he knows everybody's name. He knows what they're all doing. He's like, hey, I'm so glad you're doing this. The, the, the video guy, the guy, that, the kid that comes up with your little video screen. So that, because Alan's directing, he can't watch and direct at the same time. He has to do a scene and then go watch on a little video. That kid who runs that little video screen came in and did some stuff actually in the show. Oh yeah, he does a and scene going, with you. I'm so, Andrew? Yes. Andrew. I'm so jazzed you're doing this, man. He's like, me too. <laughs> He's I, funny. 
I was actually worried about Alan directing, first time director, and I got the script and I had noticed he had wrote it a kissing scene with every female in the script. Not me. You we didn't. Alan, Allison and I that, didn't. It, what's it, up? It, it got edited out. It was there. How come? How come mine got edited out too? Yeah. I mean, we shot that for hours. I know. I know. But the, I know. Sorry about that, buddy. It's not just the directing, though. He wrote it. He directed it. He produced it. He starred in it. So the directing was part of. It. He had to do everything. There well was done, even buddy. some janitorial it was. chores it was. that he took care of as well. But that was when you were working. You were like, clean that up. Yeah. That was, it was only when you were working. Gonna I was need janitorial. more toilet paper. Yeah. Uh, Trisha, how, everybody said such nice things about me. I haven't heard anything from you. What, uh, I, no, I, I was just to about to speak. And, then, sorry, and yes. then you put your microphone up, so I, I deferred to the director. Cheers. Um, no, I was uh, extremely pleased to um, when you when you emailed me and asked me if I'd be part of this early, early adopter. Early, I think one of the first people I called. Yes, uh, I, if I was not the first. I think. First off, I was I was dumbfounded. I was like, really, me? First off, comedy people don't necessarily know I can be funny, and I still don't know if I can. But I was like, this funny. is fantastic, and and so I said yesterday, some of you. If you were in there, said okay, so it's gonna be a robot or something, and and it wasn't. It was completely different, so it was super fun to do. Um, but I just, you were amazing to work with because you just you're constantly thinking and trying to come up with something. I remember one in the convention scene though, <laughs> you had so much on your mind that the boombox wasn't there, that this there was so many people, and you came around the corner to where I was waiting and off camera, you went shit, I forgot to act. <laughs> 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 We're going again. I'm like, no, no, no. Everything you did was fine. That's a, yeah. That's and another then, thing he kept doing to me when, like, when he would watch back the tapes, he'd be like, oh, "I'm terrible. You're great. I'm terrible. We have to do it again." Yes. And then, and then he. Uh, well, that was we were in a pool, yeah. and I had yeah. peed in the pool. That's what I was talking about. I'm terrible. That's why what it was, was so I warm all the time. Yeah. Although you didn't want to let me do. He was so worried about me doing like a couple of pratfalls. Yeah. I'm like. I've done this a lot. No, no, you're not doing it. Not doing it. Alan, I'm doing it. No, just I'm hit me in the shins. Just hit me in the shins, but I'm going to hurt you. Just hit me. Yeah, but Trish, tri Trisha, it's, it's a long way down for you. <laughs> and I'm so True. glad. I got to tell you, now that we were editing, I'm so glad I hit you. Uh, <laughs> it's great to... That angle is perfect uh, on you so we can hit you. But it is a, it's a hell of a fall. There's a couple of them. You're just, Although there, there, there was, a, I truth be told, there was a stunt double that did a fantastic fall that my tailbone would still be sore if I. Had he done came it. up to me and goes, "Trisha wants to do her own, her, wants to do her own falls. Are we covered for that?" <laughs> <laughs> Your teeth, I can't believe. I, Nathan, you mentioned yesterday. I'm the same way. Like you know, you're going to uh, bang your head over here. I tend to be like, "Who's banging their head?" I think there's a guy named Dakota. Dakota. He went through the hassle of dyeing his hair or lightening his hair my color. Let's get him in here to bang his head. Come on, Dakota. You got I'll get a stunt double to kneel down for me. <laughs> I don't have a problem kneeling. It's getting up. <laughs> I have to say, though, all these lovely people uh, up here, and, and more of them, were so fantastic when we reached out to them because they didn't make us feel like we were asking them for a favor. They, they just they jumped on board so enthusiastically. It was, it was Even Casper Van Dien. Even yeah. Casper. But, it, but the reason that it was a favor to Casper, or here, to us from Casper, is because he plays the bartender. Uh, you have one line. Yes, and it's, it's a great line. It is a great line. Uh, what can I get you? Uh, <laughs> and, but that he's was the bar yours, Zach. Huh? A lot of takes. It was a lot of takes. But he plays the bartender. It's a, it is an important role because in, in a season two, uh, he's a very important person But because he's the bartender everywhere. It starts out he's the bartender at the airport. Then we arrive at the con and he's the bartender at the con. <laughs> and then at then, the comic and, book store. Yeah, and then at the, yeah, the next episode, he's a bartender at the hotel. <laughs> then there's a comic book store opening and so there's some drinks and he's the bartender <laughs> there. You're I'd like you to do a gonna side gag. It's and, only going to take a few weeks. Yeah. This, this is all I do. Yeah. We audition. That's a shaker, guys. That's a... He's mixing a cocktail. Like a cocktail shaker. Get your hands Slower. out of the lower. gutter. See? Zach knows. That's a universal symbol for mixing a, a what cocktail. Tail? I'm mixing the drink. 
<laughs> we we auditioned The drink! Hey. The drink! He's Ray Ray. He's little Ray Ray, yeah. I know, because don't give, that, don't give it away. Blah, 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 blah. Spoiler alert, spoiler, 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 spoiler. Huh? <laughs> They'll probably catch on, but... Yeah. I just want to say, we did audition thousands of people to do this. And you did it best. I'm telling you. That's, that's you how did. I got the job. Yeah. yeah, that's how you got the job. Uh, we got time for one, one more question, so don't disappoint. It better be a good one or put your hand down. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, a good one. Get that man a microphone right there. This better be a good question. Um, real quick, how did, how did the idea for like comment come about? Was it like over a time and you finally decided to do it, or did it just kind of like pop in your head one day and just go for it? The first one. <laughs> Next question. Okay, question two. Uh, 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 where did it come about? Well, we've been going to cons for everybody here has been going to cons for a very long time. Uh, and I, there's probably not one person up here who didn't at one point in time think to themselves, God, this should be a show. Because there are so many things that are noteworthy that happen. <laughs> the stories play out in front of you. They play out with you. Uh, the people who run them uh, are eccentric people. Some of them are carnies, and you end up doing insane things. The thing that Trisha and I do, uh, it's in the, in the um, trailer about there's a, there is a doll. This is a convention, a doll convention. That happened in Florida. I went there, it was with like the second, or th it was the third, I think, convention I went to. It doesn't exist anymore. I was there with Summer Glau. And uh, time's up. <laughs> anyway, there was a doll convention. And, um, and then I went on our side, and then there was uh, action figures all around. I was like, well, wait a second. How are we any different than them? But according to Will Wheaton, it's different. Uh, <laughs> so... Um, but in the, the it, that's part. It's the it's the episode where I get my action figure finally, uh, and uh, Jack has like fifteen of them, and I've never gotten one. And so I finally, oh, it's okay. You you'll want Ray to get his, his licks. Uh, so, I, so I have I have my action figure, and you have your doll, and we come together in a complete mismatch, and uh, it goes horribly wrong. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> Nathan, you said you you you. I don't even want to ask you, you what you were thinking. Do you remember right now. the question? <laughs> he said, "Where did you park?" I think <laughs> at the hotel. At and the ladies hotel. and gentlemen, that is our time for the Conrad panel. Thank you. One last thing. One last thing. Would you guys all be willing to sign this if yes. I auction this off for uh, Operation Smile? Would you yes. all be willing to do that? Nathan, would you like to auction this for me right now? Since yes, you're the auction, right now? You're extraordinary. Yeah, just right now. Ladies and gentlemen, I have a, sh I have a shirt here. Third HQ. What size is it, Alan? <laughs> I, I believe it's an XL. Very it's nice. an XL. Very nice. This is going to be signed by no less than all the panelists here. And of course, don't forget the money's going to Operation Smile. Oh, no, no, we're going to sign it backstage. We'll get it to somebody. Yeah. Who's, Thank who's you. willing to offer me for this signed shirt? We're going to sign it big, too. Not the crappy little signatures. We're going to sign this thing big. Who's willing to give me $5 for this shirt? I got $5. 10, 20, 30. How much? 200 over here. Who says 200 in the back? 250? Who said that? You, 250. Oh, wow. Man with a beard. I got 300. 300? Where's the 300? Oh, it's my old friend. I know you. <laughs> oh, this yeah. was the infamous this is... outbid. This was the infamous outbid of uh, 2012. Got a sweat on it. Come on, let's go. Oh, three, so three, three, Operation say Smile. Come on. 300. Little Nolan. Do we hear more? Nolan. Uh, 310. It might be depreciating in value now. That might be. 350. Four hundred dollars. It just touched Casper. Do we hear 450? It just touched Casper Van Dien's jaw. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, dear Lord. <laughs> Come on. It's for charity. Come on. Someone knows how to do that. We got, we got 400, right? We got I got 400. 400. $400 going once. $500. Ah, yeah. Do I hear 510? 520? 525? Do I hear it? Come on, come on. $500 going once. It's got Nathan's blood and twice. sweat on it. $500. $500, $500. thank you, well sir. Done. That's two smiles. That's two smiles. You just changed two kids' lives, man. Thank you. This will be We're handy because when you come to get your shirt, we can sign it. We'll, we'll get it to you right outside. Hey, right outside. Hey, that's yeah. that's, that's for the baby. Oh, there you go. You got exactly what you wanted. Your child has yeah. been signed. She's like, baby needs that's a new it. pair of shoes. You didn't know it was your husband?
Sorry. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Captain Conman. Give money. it up for him. Woo!